Good morning, YouTube. It's daylight here. It's about 45, 46 degrees. Got a little cool snap, but no frost. That's good. Uh, let's look around the place today. It's been a while since we had a little garden tour. Hey bunnies, I look like y'all are more comfortable today. Still not feeling it, huh? Good morning, Mr. Bunny. Are you so scared? Do you girls want some breakfast? Do you want some breakfast? Okay, let's get some breakfast. Morning, duckos. You got no mower? No problem. Till it. No, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody that has subscribed and been a part of the channel. Y'all make uh, all this happen and uh, your continued support. We keep putting out the videos and uh, y'all, it's just it's a bit overwhelming what all is going on. Uh, and with that, I'll finish up this garden tour. Thanks for watching. Kentucky Wonder pole beans, marigolds, that's some Bush Lake bush beans. Got some Boston pickler cucumbers. So uh, ladybug, this is your tomato right here. This is a pink Russian. Got some other tomatoes in here that have started early. Uh, got some onion sets. My little red of Florence is right there. They just kind of stalled out. Hot soy, since I treated this with nitrogen and lime, um, it's doing a lot better. Nitrogen, of course, was blood meal. I blood boned and limed, granulated lime this bed. Arugula. There's our greenhouse starch, y'all. And uh, I think I've got a lady coming to pick up a bunch of these tomatoes and peppers today, which is good. I sold a few. Um, <clears throat> Lincoln sweet peas. Got some squash getting ready to come up right there. Uh, a little bit of spinach. Spinach did better over in this bed than it did in the other bed. That's a plus. A few marigolds. There's some more cucumbers. These are actually cucumbers. Got some more lettuce. So there's gonna be squash in this bed. On this end, I guess I'll put a couple of tomatoes after these beans come up. Crones we planted the other day are starting to come up and green up. That's a plus. The lettuces are doing better in this bed than in the other bed. You can see those asparagus are, are coming on, on new shoots and sending up their little their little asparagus. baby. Asparagus, this bed is my best producer so far, and it's just dirt out of the woods, humus from under the trees. Uh, you can see some of the uh, the little early collards and stuff are already sending up seed shoots, so that's not good. Um, peas are doing well in this bed. I've uh, got to thin out my carrots. Here's the peas in this bed. This compost just is not finished enough to do anything with this stuff. No Jerusalem artichoke showing yet. It's still early. Lettuces just kind of got in there and stalled out. Uh, maybe I need to put some more blood in this. Some more Lincoln peas over yonder. And uh, got some stuff in this bed. Uh, these would probably end up tomato beds is what it's looking like. And uh, we'll plant these out let them do their thing strawberries coming on doing their thing strawberries don't need a lot of soil or, or nutrients so strawberries should be fine super excited about the recent 
potato pops is purple fingerlings these came from the grocery store um, the organic food store and I just let them grow some eyes and stuck them in these bags these are yellow fingerlings from the uh, the organic food store these are some seed potatoes I bought from uh, a local hardware store here uh, got some more potatoes coming up in this these will get covered with straw soon um, yeah there's Potatoes Potato. growing everywhere. Got some potatoes this year. That's really good. Looks like all my seed potatoes have sprouted. That's really good. Grape is making an appearance. Got to build some trellising because it is putting on some stuff. I trimmed it back really hard this last year. I expect to get some fruit this year off of it. Um, put some compost around the old blueberry bush. And you can see it is setting berries. I'm hoping to get, I don't know, five to ten pints off of this plant this year. I don't know if I showed y'all this the other day, but Bumbling Acres Homestead, I'll put a link or something in for him. He showed me how to do that, and I am super appreciative. Oh, it's getting better and better. Yard garden, uh, a lot of work yesterday, planting a bunch of stuff. Uh, Holton and I got out today and planted some more stuff. Got Got lucky today and got some good help. He is uh, pinching the tops out of these little pepper plants and planting away in the desert out here. Um, better known as the uh, yard garden. And it's a big space, y'all. It's uh, almost, it's, I think I said it was 100 by 100, but it's probably 75 by 50 with this little, without this little jut right here. but. I don't know, pretty nice sized garden. I've got some flower seeds, squash, and down on the far end down there is some rattlesnake beans from Homestead Aquarius, and then we've got some peppers. So when I was transplanting tomatoes or putting potting them up, these are some extras that I had that I didn't want to pot up. I just threw them in the compost bucket, and uh, they'll probably be my best tomatoes this year. They're growing in that pure worm casting down in that bucket. They'll probably be the best ones we've got. Getting there. It's coming, got uh, some corn planted there. I'm gonna put sunflowers over in that part right over there. My daughter wanted a sunflower garden. So that's what she's gonna get over there. And we got a covered up for some late season tomatoes. We'll put tomatoes in over there eventually. Some, some nice rose hips. Not done anything to this bed yet other than uh, limed it to knock the acidity down. It's beautiful, the hostas are up and going. I think, uh, the hostas are gonna be my indicators when it's time uh -huh. to plant tomatoes. Wish I knew what this was. I love this tree right here. It's beautiful, beautiful. Got a tropical bloom. I may have cut it at a bad time where it's not gonna bloom for me this year, but we will see. Um, my ditch weed, one of my granddaddy's favorite plants, this little purple ditch weed, but uh, it's growing, doing its thing. It's amazing to me, this tree was in full bloom just two, three weeks ago, and now it's in full leaf. Oh, it's really nice right here in the yard. I think I need a sitting area over here, but. Crepe myrtle has not made an appearance yet. Oh yeah, it has, little bits, little bits. I may have cut it back too harshly. This one is growing. Good thing I didn't remove that yet. Birds are singing to us. Looking back the other way, got the guard dog on guard patrol. Y'all, I'm gonna show you what else we've got to plant what we've been planting. So not only do we have the yard garden, but my, my lovely neighbor decided he was gonna till up some stuff for us to plant. And uh, we've got a bunch of corn planted over there and some rattlesnake beans over yonder that I planted with his grandchildren's. And uh, he planted with his grandkids, you know, tomatoes and, and broccoli, and cauliflower and stuff like that. But we got enough room, I think, to grow some stuff this year. Here are the owls. We did, we did this today, y'all. Family came out and helped me plant. We got a row of green beans, got a row of onions, another row of onions, and then pinto beans, black beans, tomatoes. And then there's four rows of corn running right down through there. I'm gonna put peppers, melons, squash. 
and then uh, still got some room for some late garden stuff over here. Oh, Papa Bear is tired. Really, really tired. But uh, it's a good tired. It's a productive tired. It's a, I got it done today. Neighbor's grandkids came over today and uh, I'm sharing my seed with him. Thank goodness I'm sharing my seed with him. But uh, I asked them if they had ever grown any rattlesnakes. And I told them I had some rattlesnake beans that would grow rattlesnakes. And they were super excited about that. And so uh, he grabbed some of the tomato starts that we got and, and stuff and pepper starts and planted those. And, you know, it was really nice to be able to share that stuff. and went over and showed those boys how to build trellises as he was showing his grandkids how to put in tomatoes and cucumbers and I helped them plant some rattlesnakes. And they said, we're gonna have to come back to Paw Paws in a month, check on our stuff. So uh, yeah, it, was, it was a really good day, y'all. Be blessed, know I love you, and uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you're new to the channel, I'm the Arkansas Woodcutter. And um, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you found us. Subscribe, hit the bell notification, like the video. Y'all, if y'all like the video, that helps me a ton. Um, thanks for watching.